Hi everyone, welcome to the wild card reading. Any of you that's new here and don't understand what the wild card readings are, it's just simply me opening up the channels to allow whoever's energy wants to come through to be heard. So only take from this what resonates for you. Let's jump in, let's see who's coming forward, whose energy is wanting to come forward, who's wanting to be heard. So my wild cards. Oh, pop. And we've got so afraid to tell you. So afraid to tell you. Let's see what else is coming out. So afraid to tell you. Keep going. Mm. There it goes. Friends only. Friends only. Friends only. So afraid to tell you. Friends only. Let's see what else. So afraid to tell you. Remorse and regret. So afraid to tell you. Remorse and regret. Friends only. Friends only. Friends only. Bring that one. Healing wounds. Healing wounds coming in under friends only. Uh -huh. Remorse and regret. Healing the wounds. In pursuit, in pursuit. Mm. Don't you like how these come out coordinated in color? <laughs> wow, okay. Over here under healing wings, we've got blame game, blame game, blame game. Bottom of the deck, we've got second chances. Somebody's definitely wanting some kind of second chance here to heal something. So afraid to tell you. Friends only kept you at arm arm's length. Mm -hmm. They got uh, remorse and regret about that. They were having to go through some uh, healing process. Uh, they were still doing the blame game. Uh, somebody might have you know come out of a bad relationship, carrying the wounds with them, because they was, they were still toting a lot of the. Uh, blaming, vic you know, sort of victim kind of mode, uh, and um, the re the regret for them is they jumped into a connection with you before they cleared this energy, because uh, uh, it's almost like saying I shouldn't have been in pursuit of anything until I got past this, past this. Mm -hmm this hurt this wound they did keep you at a distance um from them they wouldn't you know they couldn't let you get too close or they didn't allow you to get too close but they were still trying you know engaging with us and stuff when they knew they shouldn't have been mm -hmm. so afraid to tell you let's come, let's come in a little bit more let's see if we can get them to focus in on just you rather than their self in and what they were feeling like they you know uh, did wrong <laughs> let's put it that way because they are carrying remorse and regret um, about the connection with you that they weren't a hundred percent there for you in the connection let's see what's coming out on this We've got Queen of Wands. Ooh, fire, energy, Aries, energy showing up. But jealousy, insecurity, and emasculating. Emasculating. Ooh, okay, hang on. They, their, their confidence was really not um, from um, the hip, trying to heal the wounds, the blame, because they're pl placing blames of, uh, I feel disempowered i feel less than uh coming out of this relationship and i shouldn't have been pursuing but i was pursuing mm -hmm. impulsive I mean, yeah we got an emperor look we've got some aries energy fire energy um showing showing up on them uh, whether it's their sign or not is is heavy predominant in in their chart somewhere uh 
because you can see it's, it's somebody that felt emasculate, you know, disempowered um, in their last connection. They come out of that feeling uh, cut down small, not good enough, that kind of thing. Dis you know, just disempowered, needs self-discipline, feels inferior. What else? Sun card conflict, need for clarity, feeling invisible. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. All cap. All cap, guys. I'm wearing my cap. I'm wearing my cap. I'm covering my eyes. I'm brooding about things. I'm I'm really into this blame, blame, blame uh, of why I feel invisible, so small and stuff. And yet, I could not see what I'm hearing, guys. This is what I'm hearing. I could not see somebody that saw the light in me, that saw me in a different way. I was look. I I kept over. My sun's eclipsed. It's dark. I could not see what was standing right before me because I kept looking through the veil of what I come out of, of how someone else made me feel. I couldn't see you there. I could. I couldn't see you there standing right there in front of me. Let's see what else? Page of Cups. Yeah. Um, that one's telling me they they feel selfish, like they they indulged in in a connection with you, um, but they were they were not emotionally ready uh, to step up. They, we've got non-committal, easily triggered, which absolutely easily triggered because of this, you know. Uh, feeling like they were just too emotionally vulnerable. Um, I, almost, I, I still feel like they're they're asking why why would the universe bring bring something so good to me when I was so blind and couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. Hasty, indecisive, terrifying. Oh, guys. Okay, they were stuck, stuck, or yeah, you know, just stuck, feeling bad, <laughs> disempowered, small, invisible. But you've seen them and they couldn't see that you were seeing them. And what's even worse, they're carrying with them this remorse, this regret that they tasted the goodness of you. And it's almost like saying, you no, know, that, that was selfish on my part, on my part. Mm. What else? Six of Wands, dishonesty, broken promises, feeling unappreciated. Oh, guys. Mm. With, with, with their energy, yeah. Uh, they, they come out of something where, you know, it was broken promises. But what's worse is they, they are acknowledging they made you feel this way. Uh, unappreciated. They couldn't see the sun that was standing in front of them because they were so capped. They're, they were so veiled with what they had come out of. And it's like I said, they tasted the goodness of you, the blessing of you. And it's like, why? Why couldn't I see it? What was wrong with me? Not understanding their own self. Um and that they needed time, that, that they should have took their time instead of jumping in. And now, guys, they do. They want a second chance. Um, did we walk away from them or did they walk away from us? I can't tell. We've got a nine of cups, pessimism, false pride, feeling let down, mm -hmm. feeling let down. Feeling let down. They they feel like they've let you down. They kept you at arm's length. They they couldn't see how how great you were because it was so veiled. Maybe they see both of you in this energy now. Of just looking out at the water. Mm. Both of you feeling let down. Let's keep going here. Let's see what else they want to bring out on this for me. Then we'll, we're going to uh, open the message cards and let them talk to us. Mm. Keep going. Talk to us. Mm. Lost soul. Mm -hmm. 
unsure of the way forward, inner conflict, and men mental turmoil, feeling disconnected to self. They were, yeah, they were definitely lost, and you found them, but they couldn't see you because, yeah, over here on this one is anti-marriage and not ready to be loyal, fear of failure and divorce holding on to, to singlehood. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't see, they couldn't see you, but yet they, they feel like they took advantage of you. In your goodness. And yeah. What else come out here? Spiteful, cruel, unkind words. Inflicting pain onto others, malicious intentions. Err. With with that one it is saying that where they were so veiled and stuff, they may have been harsh with some of their behaviors or the way they would go cold or they would uh, end up t uh, snapping at you as if you were the one to blame for the way they were feeling about their self when it really wasn't you. It really wasn't you. It was the pain that they were carrying and wishing they could lash back out at the one that actually did cause uh, them to feel so bad about their self. Discreet communication, secret text, deleting evidence. Hiding and denying the truth. Hiding and denying the truth is what I'm hearing, guys. It's not, it's not cover, you know, secret text, deleting evidence, nothing. It's more of the hiding of, they could, they knew they were, they were, that you were there. They allowed yourself in, to indulge into the, the sweetness of you when they knew they couldn't return that to you. At the moment, bottom of the deck, we've got nitpicky, finding fault in everything, extreme attention to details, looking for minor imperfections, yeah, looking for red flags, and it's like I said, they were looking through a veil, everything was capped and veiled for them when it come to you, um, Very moody, very triggering on you, uh, warm, affectionate, one minute, loving it, one one minute and then all of a sudden it's switch over to just cold nitpicking uh qu quick change of mood on them uh because of all all their what they were carrying with them yeah and they just feel like they should have never they never should have pursued you that it wasn't the right time and they ended up leaving you feeling disappointed and them feeling even more disappointed in their self. Feeling even worse about their self uh, from the last relationship in that piling more onto their self, onto their conscious about their behaviors and what happened between us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull the tarot real quick before we get into the messages. We already know the bottom of the deck is them looking and hoping for a second chance. But let's find out intentions, uh, desires. First one out, we've got the creatrix. That the, that's the magician. They're hoping that, they, yeah, they, they're trying to figure out something with that magician. It's like, how do, how do I pull off some magic here? Just as how do how do I bring this back in sync? How do I express this truth to you? Can we get communications going back? They may feel like something's final with you though that um, you wouldn't give them another chance. But let's see. Their head's about to explode. They're very chaotic, confused. Um, with that five of wands, they do wonder, have you moved on? Um, would they be, you know, trying to win you back from someone else if you've already moved on? But it's like my head's going to explode trying to figure this out. Mm -hmm. And then we've got five of cups. Ooh, grieving card, disappointment. But it's also the healing process is, is basically saying, guys, because they woke up to what they've left you with, the disappointment, uh, it's like, I've, you know, I'm let go of the three cups that spilt. 
and I'm, I'm seeing what I had and why couldn't I see it when it was standing in front of me? That kind of thing. So, yeah. Mm, at the end of the grieving process, but seeing what remains, does anything remain that two of cups? Do we still, is there still a chance that I could turn this around with you? Let's see what this one is. Ooh, we've got a king of wands. We got definite fire energies coming in on this reading, guys. Um, that's Leo energy. We got Aries, Leo, fire. Mm -hmm. With that one, they don't. Uh, with it being on its head right now, they're not taking any kind of actions. They want to, but they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They don't. It, it's like I'm. I'm frustrating myself. My head's going to explode any minute trying to figure this out. But right now, they're not taking any action. And it's like, I don't know if I should even expect you to be open to talking to me or communicating with me or reconnecting with me. Mm. What's this one? Seven of Swords. Ooh. They are trying to be strategic in... the how do I, how do i figure out how to get back in touch with you to communicate with you how do i talk to you um so afraid to tell you so afraid to tell you so afraid to reach out maybe because uh, like i said i feel like that's both of your energies of there, there was a good connection they just could not see it Bottom of the deck is you were very kind to them. You gave them time and attention and uh, think of the charity card when they didn't deserve, they didn't deserve it. They don't feel like, they don't feel like they did anything to deserve it. They kept you at arm's length. Mm. Let's get the messages. Let's see what deck they want to talk with. <clears throat> talk to us. Okay, we're getting our twin plane, but hang on, energy still moving around me. Energy still moving. Getting this one. Keep going. Hang on, guys, our energy still moving. This one. Okay. Let's go with this one first. Like I said, guys, y'all use your intuition. If it's resonating for you, you'll know which one of these messages are meant for you and which ones are meant for other people because we, we are doing it as a collective group. Talk to us. Pop. I'm trying to understand. Trying to understand myself. Like I said, they don't really grasp why they did what they did please give me an, another chance keep talking i right here for it i'm sorry for the way i acted keep talking i'm clearing up karma talking I'm not ignoring you I'm thinking about our connection been thinking about our connection you're the one that's staying on my mind now <laughs> yes messed up a good thing I can't get you off my mind oh hot I wish I could express my true feelings. I really miss you. I really miss you. Let's see what was wanting to come out of this deck, guys.
confession. There was no good, no good conversational way to end it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could say. I didn't know what to say. There's no good conversational way. Switch deck here. Okay, let's go with it. Talk to us. I feel like others are working really hard to keep us apart. I really wish we could spend some time together alone. Um, bottom of the bottom part, the purple lavender color or is what really popped. Mm -hmm. What else? I think it, yeah. You motivate me to be a better person. You're my fire. Fire again, guys. Fire on this reading. You're my inspiration. You're the sun and I couldn't see you standing there. You excite me in ways I never thought possible. Is there anything else? Anything else? Mm -hmm. I have kept myself closed off for so long. It feels like that is all I know to do. Please give me some time to open up to you. Oh, gosh. Wild cards, I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed.